We thank you for your service and we salute you. Hi, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I am Jaden. And I'm Anjali. And today, here in the U.S., we are celebrating Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. It's a tribute to all the fallen soldiers. So this Mm -hmm. is a day we recognize everyone who has lost their lives um, during the war for any reason, fighting for our freedom here. And um, I'm sure we're not the only country that have lost many soldiers fighting for freedom. But this is the day that we recognize it here. We put flags outside. Mm -hmm. Um, They didn't really do a lot. We usually have a lot of parades where the veterans will get um, in cars and trucks and the fire trucks and the police, and they'll do like a big parade. Um, They they Mm -hmm. kind of haven't done that because of the coronavirus right now. Mm -hmm. But we're still trying to pay tribute to those fallen soldiers who lost their lives um, Mm -hmm. fighting for our freedom. That's that's the main. So today we're going to listen to Ronald Reagan, our former president, talking about Memorial Day and the meaning behind it. So we here at the Jan family have been learning a whole lot about India. I'm sure it's a, still a scratch of the surface, mm-hmm. but we've learned festivals and um, movies and music mm-hmm. and food and just so many things. Um, and you guys always ask about, show us stuff that you do there. So he, this is part of us teaching you a little bit um, about some of the things we celebrate mm-hmm. here in the U.S. to yeah. show us, show you. So mm-hmm. I hope you guys like it. If we look to the answer, as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth, it was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. Freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. The price for this freedom at times has been high, we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. The sloping hills of Arlington National Cemetery with its row upon row of simple white markers, bearing crosses or stars of David, they add up to only a tiny fraction of the price that has been paid for our freedom. Each one of those markers is a monument to the kind of hero I spoke of earlier. Their lives ended in places called Bellow Wood, the Argonne, Omaha Beach, Salerno, and halfway around the world on Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Porkchop Hill, the Chosin Reservoir, and in a hundred rice paddies and jungles of a place called Vietnam. Under one such marker lies a young man, Martin Treptow, who left his job in a small town barber shop in 1917 to go to France with the famed Rainbow Division. There on the Western Front, he was killed trying to carry a message between battalions under heavy artillery fire. We're told that on his body was found a diary. On the flyleaf, under the heading, My Pledge, he had written these words. America must win this war. Therefore, I will work, I will save, I will sacrifice, I will endure. I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost as if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. It is a weapon that we as Americans do have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. As for the enemies of freedom, those who are potential adversaries, they will be reminded that peace is the highest aspiration of the American people. 
We will negotiate for it, sacrifice for it. We will not surrender for it now or ever. We are Americans. This was very heart touching to hear. Yeah. Um, I haven't actually heard this speech from Reagan and um, the story about the soldier basically putting the country on his shoulders like he is here he, he's the whole reason like he has to carry this message or he has to be there to save the country um and i know a lot of people that sign up and to defend the country army navy air yeah. force um you guys do it because you love the country and it is it's like i don't want to call it a burden but you put everybody every u.s citizen that's living here in the u.s every citizen mm -hmm. here on your shoulders basically as you're out there fighting for freedom fighting the war to keep us safe uh, even just patrolling the borders mm -hmm. um you know it's just amazing and you don't always think of this um but today is a nice day to remember those ones that mm -hmm. went out there and and didn't make it back home to their families. Yeah, and know. it's definitely like, yeah, and it's definitely taken a toll on the people who have mm -hmm. lost loved ones and who have people who haven't made it back. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's always worrisome, like, you don't even know if they're going to come back. And mm -hmm. when you do, it, it's just... Mm. Yeah. Nobody wants to get that phone call or that letter... Um, the knock on the door. Knock on the door. Um, I have some friends that are army wives and, um, you know, their husbands go off and you don't always know if they're going to come home safely. You pray every day that they do. Um, mm -hmm. A while back we did uh, the mom who makes cure for her, her soldier son who didn't make birthday. it home from the cargo war on his birthday every year. Um, you know, but she's still mm -hmm. so proud of him and I know all these Americans, um, you know, families that have lost loved ones to the war or, you know, for whatever issues being away at war, um, they, they are very proud. They are proud, but yeah. at the same time, they want their loved ones back. Yeah. They but, have that feeling deep inside where they right. still want that loved one you, back. You always wish what if, but at the same time, there's that such pride that they serve their country you know, they, they, they protected the freedom. And so not that you wanted to not see them ever again, but they did what they needed to do. And I know there's so many soldiers out there that believe the same thing, that this is their country, their country comes first. Yeah. You know, that phone call comes, they're out there. Um, the police, the firemen, I put them in the same category. They are first responders, they are on mm -hmm. it. Um, just as much as the military and a lot of them are both it's amazing you guys are always out there keeping everybody safe um, yeah. and putting your life on a line a lot of times and so they don't need um, stones thrown at them or mm -hmm. people yelling in their face because they don't want to wear a mask um, we've had a lot of that so I hope today that everybody has gone out here in the US at least and thanked we would like to go out and do it too. Mm -hmm. thank some soldiers thanks the police and um, the firefighters that have been doing an amazing job these last yeah. few months um, trying to keep everybody safe but this mm -hmm. is also to remember the ones that um, lost their lives during the war. And so we want to thank them for their service. And I can't wait to join them next year or when I'm bigger. Yeah, maybe when you're bigger. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I salute the U.S. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And don't forget to subscribe and click that no, 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 notification bell down below because more you like it, more YouTube shows our videos. Join the wonderful Jan family. And, and we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.